Hi, you're watching Floyd Steinberg's YouTube channel. Today, let's once again talk about the Yamaha QY100. I'm going to use this to sequence my hardware synthesizer setup today. So, we're going to set up the MIDI channels and everything and create a track. Let's go! So, here's the QY100, the portable synthesizer workstation from 2001. If you didn't watch last week's video on this, this is a 32 voice polyphonic multi timbre synthesizer with a 16 track pattern and song sequencer built into it. It can run on batteries and it's a great centerpiece for a desktop synth setup. The QI100 has some standard MIDI ports on its back, so the MIDI out goes into the MIDI in of the Novation Peak here and then the the MIDI through of the peak goes into the MIDI in of the motor synth. I could add more synth to this, but I'd run out of table space, so let's stick with this. I'll also connect a MIDI controller and keyboard to the QI100 using this MIDI hub. This one isn't available anymore, but read this video's description for an alternative. And while I'm building the setup, I also want to be able to tweak the QI100 sounds while playing. Luckily, Yamaha implemented the general MIDI standard 1 to 1 on this device, so we can easily assign filter cutter frequency, resonance, portamento and other things to a MIDI controller for filter sweeps and other typical synth stuff. Pattern mode is what the average electronic musician is most likely going to use for seamless pattern switching and looping while improvising. In order to use your external synths, first make sure that the pattern plays back MIDI data, otherwise your external synths will remain silent. In pattern mode, press menu, then utility, then menu again and then MIDI. Now move the cursor to the bottom row and make sure MIDI out channels isn't turned off. After that, set up your hardware where synths MIDI receive channel according to the track you're playing them on. I'm going to create the first pattern now. I'll take some time to show you something really useful called Use Phrases and Chord Tracks. In a short sentence, you can create your own bass lines and chords, specify the key they are in, and then later, while performing, let the QY100 reharmonize them to other keys. Press the pattern button, select an empty user pattern and move the cursor down to the second row. Now specify the key your pattern is in by pressing the buttons on the keyboard. Here I'm using D minor. Now move the cursor down to the first track into the first column and press shift and plus until it reads US for user phrase. Now press record and choose step recording. In the type field select bass and also select the sound you like. Then press play and enter your bass line using the keyboard. Here's the result. Okay, on the second track I'll add a similar phrase using the same settings but two octaves higher. Here's how it sounds. And last but not least, here's a drum track. I'll add another user phrase, but this time I'll leave the settings as they are per default. And we'll end up with this. Now let's use the chord track. Set the chord mode to fingered, start playback and play some chords on the keyboard and listen what happens. Last but not least, let's use the peak as the instrument for the second track. I'll press pattern once and set the volume of the internal synth to zero in the mixer and turn up the peak instead. And this is the result. <laughs>
And if you found this video useful, please consider subscribing to my channel. Seeing those subscriber numbers grow makes me happy and keeps me motivated to post videos about this device and other stuff. Thank you. Okay, so this time I'm not using song mode. Instead, I'll switch patterns and change chords on the keyboard live. I'll tweak the QI100s and the other synths sound a bit while playing and also I used a pattern effect for a bit of swing here. A pattern effect is applied to the MIDI data in real time and you can change it without changing your original song. So if I wanted I could format my drums into a samba rhythm midway. <laughs> but I won't. Okay, fingers crossed I hope this will sound good. Here we go. Yeah, and that's it for today. I hope you found this interesting and useful, and if you did, please consider subscribing to my channel. And as always, thanks for watching, and see you again very, very soon. Bye bye.